On Sunday, students at the Francisco Bolognesi School on the outskirts of Lima had a surprise. The international superstar Lady Gaga, who's on tour in South America, stopped by for her first UNICEF field visit. We want to work together to um, help improve uh, the culture in schools. Ventania is, one of the, is the poorest area of Lima. It's a, a huge suburb in the north which has grown up in the last 20 years. Lots of people who came from the countryside in the period of violence here in Peru and a lot of marginal urban communities. Almost 40 percent of the poor of Lima live in the area of Ventania. Students here face challenges such as violence, gangs, drug use and bullying. Lady Gaga, who was bullied at school, shared her experiences with the children. And she watched a play in which students explored the issue through drama. All children um, have the, the right to feel valuable. And everybody has a shot, but not everybody has a fair shot. So I think what UNICEF does is they try to make the shot a little more equal. The school is an example of the UNICEF concept of a child-friendly space, which strives to give children not just a well-rounded education, but also to create a place where they can feel safe and reach their full potential. In a classroom, mothers and daughters showed Lady Gaga how they cook with quinoa, a staple grain in Peru. And then she kicked off a football match for the children. Lastly, as a special treat, the students of this underprivileged neighborhood were treated to a private performance by one of the world's biggest stars. Just love yourself and you're set on, on the right track. Baby, I was born this way. We were organizing a day of activities, but I never, ever imagined. It didn't even cross my mind that I would meet Lady Gaga, let alone that she would come to my school, that I would hug her and interact with her, that she would tell us about her experiences. It's something amazing, like a fantasy. I never would have guessed. <laughs> Lady Gaga stressed the importance of being compassionate to one another and told the children that while she understood the challenges of growing up in a place like Ventania, if they worked hard, they would make their aspirations become a reality.